Well, I think the first uh, point I think will be that um, a prognostics group of patients can be identified adequately, more better than we do now, and objectively, because radiomics is an objective uh, way to do that. And that means that patients at high risk can be given another treatment or no treatment in some cases compared to low risk patients. So that's obvious. The second part, which I think will be or can be implemented pretty soon, that is, like I already mentioned, the fast um, uh, response assessment before a volume of a tumor changes that you can see, well, this patient will actually have a, a response and that patient not. So that means the switching of treatment or that treatments which can be toxic and or costly will not be given and that we don't wait uh, uh, another one or two months before changes occur. This is particularly relevant in the framework of immune treatment. And uh, thirdly, um, also the differential diagnosis. Um, that is something where I think that radiomics will play a major role. That is on the basis of a scan and the patient has complaints to uh, help the clinician uh, to make the right diagnosis. Uh, and, and, and I think those three areas, I think that that is something where I'm convinced that maybe it will always take three to five to, or eight years or so, but in the not too far future, we'll see this happening. And then in the long run, I think that radiomics will also play a role to characterize tumors better from a molecular point of view. Uh, but I think there's also very good data out there, but in order to come to the clinic, I guess that it will that that will take another decades.